Former U.S. President Donald Trump says that he will encourage Russia to attack any NATO country that fails to meet its financial obligations to the Defense Alliance. Following the comments made by Trump, U.S. President Joe Biden has slammed Trump's comments as appalling and dangerous, which downplays America's commitment to NATO as well as endangers security and even stability. The White House says Trump's comments encourage the invasions of our closest allies by murderous regimes. This comes after Trump, who was speaking to supporters at a rally in South Carolina, recounted an exchange from his time in office with the leader of a big country who asked whether it would be protected if Russia attacked, to which Trump said the U.S. government will not protect the bloc if it didn't pay its fair share in defense spending. Well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. Trump's comments drew fierce backlash from leading Western officials as well as the head of the NATO alliance, who said any suggestion of allies not defending each other could put the lives of American and European soldiers at greater risk. Germany's foreign ministry has also posted the message, one for all and all for one, with the hashtag stronger together on its X account. The comments made by the former U.S. president comes as in 2014, NATO allies pledged to move towards spending 2% of GDP on defense by 2024. Now, according to NATO estimates in early 2023, 11 of its then 30 member states were close to or above the 2% mark, while 19 NATO members were spending less than their agreed 2% mark. This includes nine NATO members who are spending 1.5% or less on defense. Moreover, in less than 10 years, the Polish armed forces have roughly doubled in size from 95,000 to 200,000, including 148,000 active regular personnel and a 38,000 strong territorial defense force established in 2015. The ultimate target is a total strength of 300,000, which would give Poland comfortably NATO's largest land army in Europe. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.